Hey guys, it's Zangus, and today I'm going to give you a recap of the iPhone 6 launch and also the Apple Watch. So quite frankly, there is a shit ton of stuff I need to say because holy crap, this launch is actually really amazing and there's a lot of stuff I've got to get through. So the first thing Apple went on is that the location of where they're launching was actually the first place where they relaunched and sort of released the Mac and that sort of tried to lead on to a Mac and that's what I thought but they didn't, they just wanted to say that and then they jumped straight into saying we've got something really special to show you. So yes, it's called the iPhone 6 and there's two different models. This time it's not like the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S, they're both really high spec phones and one is called the iPhone 6 and one is called the iPhone 6 Plus. So instead of a sort of square design, they've gone for quite a nice curved design and quite frankly, I really like it. What I've done is they've integrated super high quality materials and also a really nice strong sturdy design with nice curved edges and it's gonna feel really nice in the hands and it just looks nice. I thought Apple did well with the previous designs because they looked really high quality but I didn't think the design was really that good where this design, I think it's really nice. So what Apple have done is they've integrated aluminium and stainless steel to make it really Really high quality and also get it ultra thin and also light as well. So they also mentioned that the screen has ion strengthened glass so that's something to look forward to and hopefully it'll improve the strength of the screen. To be honest this launch was pretty huge it's probably the most hyped up event ever in terms of phones especially because it's Apple and there have been thousands of predictions and concepts. But nearly every single concept and prediction has said that the iPhone 6 will have two bigger screens and two different separate models and it's been spot on. Apple have released the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 is 4.7 inches where the Plus is 5.5 inches. 4.7 inch iPhone 6 is 1334 by 750 and the 5.5 inch screen a lot of you will be glad to hear that it's full HD 1920 by 1080. To give you an idea, the iPhone 5S is 7.6 millimeters, which is a lot thicker if you think about it, it's an entire millimeter, and that doesn't really seem that much, but when you really think about it, it's going to just look blazingly thin. Of course, because the Plus is bigger, they've got to make it a little bit thicker, and it's just 7.1 millimeters, still thinner than the iPhone 5S, yet it is a lot bigger. So a little gimmick I thought Apple have added in the iPhone 6 plus is that you can use it horizontally i personally think you should have been able to do this on the first iphone but now you can do it you can even go horizontally and go landscape in home screen mode and also several apps so apple have even managed to make the new iphones even faster i was expecting them to upgrade to speed but they've apparently claimed to make it 25 percent faster the jump from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5S was pretty big in terms of speed, so I'll be impressed to see how much they've changed it from that. So of course, before they released some more info, they started to introduce some more game exclusive companies, and to be honest, they look quite fun and they look really high in terms of graphics, and I look forward to actually seeing them and see what they're like, because Apple definitely have a very good opportunity for game developers to really enhance their games because the iPhone really is a powerful phone. So Apple have updated their new chip in their new iPhones and that is called the 8A chip. And this is meant to include a lot of new features including battery life and of course speed. So Apple have claimed that the iPhone 6 Plus has 24 hours battery on 3G talk time and the iPhone 6 will have 14 hours on 3G talk time. So in the new iPhones there's meant to be a new M8 motion coprocessor which is going to be really good for fitness and exercise apps. This you'll be able to get much more better information and a lot more accurate information including altitude, speed, and also more stuff like that. Apple have included even more bands in the LTE chip. It now supports up to 20 bands, which is meant to be believed to be the best supported phone in the current market at the moment. Wi-Fi is even three times faster, and they've introduced this feature that I really think they should have introduced a long time ago, but I think it's actually incredible. You can now make calls using Wi-Fi, and they've called it, obviously, Wi-Fi calling. Of course, one of the big features about the new iPhones is that they have new improved cameras, and that is still, unfortunately, the same megapixel count, which is eight, but they do claim to have a all new camera sensor, and that is to believe to give really stunning photos. So in panorama mode, now we'll take images up to 43 megapixels, which is really excellent, and I really look forward to taking advantage of that feature. It's now meant to be even faster autofocus, and there's now continuous focus. As well, there's even faster face detection, 
and also there are some huge improvements for the video. But what's really fantastic is that you can now do 1080p video in 30 frames and also 60 frames, which is really impressive. And now for slow-mo, not only can you do 120 frames a second, you can now do 240 frames a second in video, which is amazing. Also, there's video stabilization, and to be honest, I really look forward to taking advantage of these features again in video. Of course, with all this new hardware, there's got to be new software, and that is where iOS 8 comes in. But to be honest, iOS 8 has sort of been coming in and out, and that's what I've been talking about quite a lot. So it's not really an entire launch, of course. If you want to check out my video for the iOS launch and the recap, then you can check that out. But they've sort of tried to enhance it because while having a new iPhone, they've got to have new software, and I think it's really clever how they've integrated both of them. So Apple have also included six new silicon cases, which look really nice and those colours are black, blue, orange, green, grey and red. So now let's get on to the prices for the iPhone 5.6 and the Plus. So the iPhone 5.6 starts at $199 for the 16GB version and then it goes up to $349 for the 128GB version. So there's a new added 64GB version which starts at $299 and I think that's quite a nice mix between both of them. So prices starting at the iPhone 6 Plus is $299 for the 16GB version, then it jumps up to $399 for the 64GB version, and then $499 for the 128GB version. F so the iPhone 6 Plus and also the iPhone 6 starts on 12th of September, which is this Friday, so you can pre-order it very soon, and also it will start shipping on the 19th of September. And because of that, the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C goes down in price. The iPhone 5S now starts at $99 on a two-year contract, and also the iPhone 5C is free on a eight gigabyte version. So just in case you don't know, the iOS 8 software is now compatible with the iPhone 4S, the 5, the 5C, the 5S, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad 2, the Retina, the Air, the Mini, the Mini Retina, and of course the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. So after that, there was a lot of talking because of course this is a huge announcement from Apple and then they started to go on to payments. So they're releasing this whole new thing, like this whole new category, and it's called Apple Pay. And because of that, they are now including NFC in the iPhone 6. Fucking finally! So I'm not really going to go into too much detail about Apple Pay. It's because it can be summed up basically really in the iPhone 6. There is NFC and because of that you can use Touch ID to integrate it with NFC and you can make payments. And because of this, thousands and thousands of different retailers and restaurants are now going to include different mobile payment systems to include the compatibility with the iPhone 6 and that's going to be really great because hopefully every single shop should have it and it's going to be really great to make payments with it. So after the huge iPhone 6 launch, Apple just said they had one more thing and this is Apple Watch. Not Apple iWatch, just Apple Watch. So it's got a rectangular bezel and also a rectangular screen. It's sort of the same size as basically most of its competitors. Now it does have a touch screen and also it can understand and detect force as well. So what I mean by that is basically when you lift your wrist up, it will basically turn on the LED screen straight away. And also it's got several different features like a dial, which can be used for zoom as well. Apple really made a really fantastic point about touch screens on watches because when you touch it, say for a map, it's gonna be make it really unpleasant where you can use this dial for zooming in maps and texts and I think that's a great idea. So there's only two colors that really comes in which is silver and gold. I assume that they're gonna release probably some more as well and it's gonna be more customizable. But the main reason they've kept the two colors is because they're releasing loads of new straps as well. Also, Apple have integrated a new sensor which is gonna be used for temperature, I assume, and also it will be able to record your heartbeat. Also they've included a microphone in it so you can make calls in it and also has Siri as well. And also it has a built-in speaker which is going to be used for music and also video calls and calls as well. So it has a sapphire screen so it's going to be really clear and also really strong and it starts at $349. 
and also it will work with the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C and also the 5. Now I think that's a little bit unfortunate because there are millions and millions of people that have the iPhone 4 and the 4S and it's not going to be able to work with it which is going to be really disappointing. There you have it, that's basically all the info you need to know for the Apple iPhone 6 and also the Apple Watch. There was so much detail but I really wanted to go through it to make sure you knew all of the main points and all of the stuff you wanted to know. So to be honest my first impressions are very high because I really like how they've changed the design of the iPhone 6. I believe the design has been a real problem with Apple because if you look back at all of their previous phones the design has changed but it just hasn't changed that much and I really think they've made a step forward in it. It still is obviously square and it's still got the same general features and hardware but I like how they've made it just a little bit better and that small improvement just makes a huge difference because it looks a lot like the iPod Touch 5G and I really like that because it's ultra thin, it's going to be really comfortable and ergonomic and it's got some really, really cool new features. So thanks for watching and if you did find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. In the input microphone from the Nikon D5300. Of course, this is what you've been hearing for the majority of the video and this is the Rode Video Mic Go microphone. So right now I'm using the Speedlink microphone and I use this for almost all of my videos, so all of my unboxings, all of my reviews, and that Hey guys, it's Zangus, and I'm going to give you a quick update and a recap from the iPhone 6 launch and the iPhone. <laughs> what they've done is they've integrated steel and aluminium. Wait, <laughs> so as rumoured, it was 4.7 inches and 5.5 inches, and this rumour was spot on. Those are the two resolutions, which is 334 by 750, and then the 5.5 inch iPhone Plus is 920 shit that didn't work. This is probably the most rumored phone in history and there are thousands of prediction and and shit. So again Apple have made the iPhone even thinner. The iPhone 6 is just 6.8 millimeters thin which is absolutely crazy. To give you an idea the iPhone 5S is 7.6 in of course, with that speed, it's got to come from somewhere, and they've added a new chip, which is the 8. My shit. Also, they've updated the new LG E tip. Apple have even. In of course, one of the new things about it is the new camera, and to be honest, I don't really think they've updated it that much. It's still the same megapixel, but they've included the aptitude, and also. Wait, the aptitude? Quite frankly, I think the camera's good enough in the all. Wait. So on panorama mode, you can now take photos up to 43 megapixels, which is really great. And also there's a lot new more shit. There's meant to be even faster autofocus and it now has continue. Fuck. So Apple have also included two. Fuck. So Apple have also released six new silicon cases for the iPhone 5. Fuck. So starting price for the iPhone 5. Fuck. So starting prices for the iPhone 5 6 Plus start. <laughs> so you can now pre-order the iPhone. F oh, nearly said it again. The iPhone can now be pre-ordered for. Shit. The iPhone 6 Plus and the also the iPhone 6 can be pre-ordered on the 12th, which is this Friday, and it can be starting to. Oh, that didn't make sense. So just to recap, the iPhone. So I'm not really going to go on too much about the Apple Paints because there's a lot of detail on it, but it sort of can be somebody up. Somebody? That makes sense. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about Apple Pay because it's kind of basic in a way, but there's a lot of detail about it. Basically, because of NFC, you can now make payments, including Touch ID, which is in crazy shit. Now what I mean by that is going to have some really good gyroscopes to be used for fitness, and I really look forward in to... So that is basically all the detail you need to know for the iWatch shit.